Well, this is part six of a commission that I've been working on for Dave and Kathy Hyde. Now, they're a retired couple who have taken us on their 2021 summer road trip. And if you haven't caught up with them yet, I've left the link in the description below. Now, I decided to record as much of the drawing process as I possibly could. Not just for Dave and Kathy, but also to share it with you as well. So most of the detail is done now. It's just putting in the little things that I'll see every time I go back to it. So it's virtually finished. Well, except for the fact that I've still got to do the portrait, <laughs> which will be the final, uh, final piece of the jigsaw. Now, although this is not a tutorial as such, watch through to the end because I'll be giving you some insights into how I go about doing my drawings. So with that said, let's just jump right on in. I really want to finish as much as I can today uh, and then I'll start on the portrait and also I'll have a better idea once this you know once I've edited it and everything how much more we've got left to do because I've still got to go back in and do the trees <laughs> yeah there's a lot there to do as well but I am going to do most of it off camera when I say off camera I'm going to do most of the detail work the boring stuff because it can be quite boring off camera just a little intricate bits that you know they do take time and and it's very hard to try and concentrate on what I'm doing especially when I'm doing detail and explain what I'm doing as well because um, I'm always you know blending and rubbing out and that and what happens is that you, I lose the lines I don't get the definition. So I like to go back over everything. Uh, working on the bricks here. Well, they're not bricks, they're stones. Now, I've been trying to find out where the stones actually come from. I'm assuming they come from there, but they've obviously been cut the shape somehow. Uh, whether that would have been done in the original you know, building when it was built back in the 1800s, I'm not too sure. You see what I mean by it's just a really slow process. But I thought I'd just show you, you know, where I'm at at this point. Now notice along the top there, they seem to be thinner. There's like a, a cap on the top of the stones. So the stones aren't exactly, you know, how they are in the picture. But then it depends on what angle you're looking at too, as well, you know, as well. So I try to get them as close as I can, or as accurate as I can. I've done a bit of the background behind the wheel there, and that's most of that is in shade. So you can't really see behind the wheel. Um, I probably will put a bit more tone in there. You can just sort of make out a little bit of the outline. Of course, there's another brick wall there, and I haven't gone right across because that's where the portrait's going to go of Kathy and Dave. I don't know exactly how much room I'm going to take up yet, so I've just made it a bit short than where I think it should go. So I'm just taking my time, just adding little bits as we go. Nothing's in concrete you now, I can always rub it out if I'm not happy with it. And there's a little walkway going up there. And once again, they're further away, so that they're not as clearly defined. And there's a bit of a grassy area there that I'm doing. Well, I think it's about that time once again where I stop talking. And depending on what part of the world you're from, <laughs> grab a glass or a cup of your favourite drink, put your feet up. Sit back and relax to some lovely music, and I'll see you in a, in a few minutes.
know, I've really been enjoying doing this drawing, this commission work for Dave and Kathy. And we're getting there. Well, that's just about it as far as the drawing goes. Now, of course, I've got to do the portrait, Dave and Kathy. You know, one of the main things about drawing with graphite is it's all about layering. And I sort of look at it a bit in the same sort of way as if I was actually building something. Because I do like building things. But you've got to start with a bit of a plan and then, you know, and you work from the base and you work the way forward. And, and to me, pencil drawing is the same sort of process. Lay down a bit of graphite, you blend it, you take a bit out, put a bit more. And that's how you get the, the texture or, or the desired effect that you're after. You know, and then it slowly all begins to take shape. And there's different stages when you're drawing it. You, you've got your, how you begin it and your, your outline and all that. And I use a grid to do that just to put everything in the right place. And then you go through the ugly stage. But if you just persevere and, and, and keep going, you get there in the end. <laughs> now, I am available for commission work, whether it be a portrait of, of, of a loved one or one of your pets could be your house. I get a lot of people sending me photos of, of grandma or granddad's house that they used to visit when they were children. And, and they say, oh, would you be able to draw this? You know? And sometimes just a little wee photo. But we work it out. I really do enjoy it. And it could be an old tractor or an old truck, anything. So if you're interested in getting me to do a commission for you, my contact details are in the description below, my email address, or you can get to me through Messenger on my Facebook page. Now, if you'd like to learn how to draw or get back into drawing, I'll leave a link up here to my Fun Times Family playlist where I take you through step by step just using basic shapes on how to draw. Most things, you know, I, I love old rustic things, but you know, once you've learned to draw, you, you, can, you can soon learn to draw anything you want, really. It's all up to you. Now, if you're liking what you see and you think you're getting some value, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with your friends. Because if you like it, chances are probably going to like it as well. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. It really does help my little channel to grow. Well, that's about it for this week. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>